Hey everybody, a while back one of these subscribers asked if I could do a, a piece on uh, the traffic preemption system. Uh, this won't take long, <laughs> be a pretty short video, but what traffic preemption is, is if you have a crossing that is in close proximity to a uh, highway intersection that has traffic signals itself, the two systems are tied together so that when a crossing is activated, the highway traffic signals will clear the intersection and then control the traffic in whichever way they decide to do it. Now the first thing that happens in crossing preemption is that when a train is on the approach and the crossing is activated, inside this house back here on the other side of the tracks in the crossing control system with microprocessor modern signaling, it's almost all microprocessor, the uh, intersections, the highway traffic is mostly the same way. It's mostly microprocessor these days. But in the old days, it was relay logic and we had a relay in that house called the TCR, the traffic control relay. And there are still some of those around and with the, the GCP 3000s and such, they still use that. But anyway, whatever system is used inside that house, when the crossing is activated, it sends a signal to the traffic control, the highway control system that tells them that the crossing is activated, there's a train coming, and that system will uh, start doing what it's supposed to do, however it is designed to do it. The first thing that happens when preemption starts is that the traffic going across the tracks, those signals all turn green. They uh, clear the traffic off the tracks. and. Uh, then, after a predetermined amount of time, when the traffic's cleared, then the lights will either all start flashing red, or in some cases, the, the traffic lights that control traffic across the tracks will remain red, and the traffic going parallel to the tracks will just remain green. And in some cases, that may be flashing red. It just depends on what the municipality wants to do. You know, the railroad doesn't care what the highway department does, as long as it doesn't cause cars to be sitting on the tracks or directed into the tracks while uh, a train's going by. So anyway, let's uh, take a look at what's going on over here. All right, we're over at the uh, control case for the highway traffic control system. And uh, sometimes cars run into these just like they do our stuff. And just like our stuff, this is all fail safe. And, uh, it's designed the same way. If one of these gates gets knocked down or a car crashes into the house or something and breaks these wires, everything goes into safe mode. The gates go down, the lights flash if they can, but they're designed to protect traffic. And the same thing happens with these. Whenever you see a car run into these, these lights will all start flashing red. And uh, sometimes they have problems, just like the railroad. Something will go wrong with the circuit uh, for some reason. Maybe somebody digging a ditch somewhere over in here, hits a wire, and uh, causes that to happen. But anyway, their control system is in there and it is linked to the house over there. All right, well, you see down there, we got a train coming. He is still quite a ways out. These approaches are usually about 3,700 feet long on the valley main line here. The speed limit stays pretty consistent all the way up to valley, so they don't change much. So let's uh, watch the traffic lights as he comes through. All right, you can see that uh, left turn lane light and the two lights there. They're going to clear the traffic out. And everything goes to flashing red. Search for design, crossings. For the gates to be down at least 20 seconds before 
the train reaches the edge of the road. Union Pacific usually sets theirs up at 25 seconds. And when the gate's clear, see those lights go to solid red. It'll clear the traffic out parallel to the tracks. I'm sorry, he'll clear the traffic out to cross the tracks because they're the ones that had to wait. All right, well, that's how that works. Well, I hope that answered uh, any questions you might have about how traffic preemption works or in case of some people, they didn't even know what it was called or how it worked. But anyway, I hope I answered some of those questions and explained things sufficiently. Uh, keep shooting me the ideas, drop in the comments below, shoot me an email at motorpoet 59 at gmail.com. Like, big fat thumbs up, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content, and we will see you all later.